Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Logitech logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. And if you want to learn more about logo animations, then don't forget to check out my Udemy course. Link is available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop. Now I have this logo file over here in which I have separated each and every file on different different layers. I'll provide the uh, link of this Photoshop file in the description so you can download it and practice it along with this tutorial. Then I'm going to save this file. Then I'll go in my Adobe After Effects and then I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to name it as main animation as always which is 1920 height is 180 frame rate let's choose 30 seconds and background color is black and simply hit ok and then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection then i am going to select my rectangle selection tool and fill i am going to choose white color and then i am going to create something like this okay now select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point in the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now press Y on your keyboard to select this ankle point and by holding control I'll bring this totally downwards. Now select this press P for position and let's bring this over here create one keyframe then press S unlink this create one keyframe and let's make this zero only on this one. Hit U zoom in a little bit let's go to around one second and let's make this hundred and let's move this thing from here to here. So if you see, we will get something like this. Now I'm going to uh, make sure that my uh, time indicator is last at the last keyframes. I'm going to select this and I'll press Control Shift D to split this layer. Then hit U and we will delete those layers. Okay, like that. Now make sure to select your pen behind tool and this time by holding Control, I'm going to move this anchor point at this point over here. Now select this create one keyframe at scale and one keyframe at position. Go to around two seconds. Let's bring sorry, let's bring this downwards like this and let's uh, decrease the scale somewhere around let's see five and let's bring this totally over here like this. Okay, now if you see this animation we will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 okay now first we will focus on this one so let's select this by holding shift i'm going to select this handle i'll select this move this over here and this handle over here okay so if you see this animation you will get something like this okay so let's uh, do one thing we will select this and we will link this scale again so what will happen because of that we can adjust this uh, point accurately so we'll simply select this and hold and move this over here select this and move this over here so we will get something like this now at this point i'm going to select this select those keyframes uh, go to the graph editor select this by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so if you see we will get something like this okay so this is how we will get this animation now i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d hit u let's select those position keyframes and let's move them over here like one like this select this hit ctrl d hit u again select those position keyframes and uh, may, during moving this uh, object make sure that your time indicator should be at the keyframes and then uh, i'm going to move this over here like this so if i see this now i'll get something like this now uh, i don't want them to animate randomly uh, i mean uh, not randomly but one point uh, at the one point so i'll go to 1.5 frames i'll select this i'll move this over here i'll go to 10 frames i'll select this one and i'll move this over here like this okay then uh, i'll go uh, at one second i'll select this by holding alt open bracket i'll move this over here 
then go over here select this one by holding alt open bracket i'll move this over here then go to the start select this over here and at the scale i'm going to make this zero also over here select this one at this point i'll make this zero like this okay so we are getting this kind of difference but this is very you know uh, uh, it looks quite weird so for to get rid of it what we can do i can select those keyframes like this and we will move them a little bit over here so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this so if i see i'll get something like this okay so this is this now right select all of them and enable this motion blur so i'll get some proper animation then right press ctrl y to create one solid background and move this backward then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to search for tint effect to, to apply this and double click to apply this effect and simply swap this color so if i see we will get something like this now at this point i want this adjustment layer should start to appear so i'll move this first of all over here with the help of open square bracket then press p create one keyframe and don't forget to enable the motion for this one also go to around two seconds create another keyframe go to the start simply select this and move this out of this composition select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this and move this over here let's make this fit and let's see we will get something like this so if i see this animation i'll get something like this okay now select all of them and hit u and go to somewhere around over here i mean at last keyframe hit page down button one time select all of them and create one keyframe at position go few frame forward or somewhere around four seconds let's select all of them and let's try to move this at the center over here select this let's try to move this at the center over here like this okay properly now select those position keyframes and make sure to hit f9 to easiness those go to the graph editor select this by holding shift move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here okay let's go over here now select this one which is the middle one i am going to press ctrl shift d to split this layer and hit u and now we are going to delete those keyframes let's select this press y for uh, pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i snap this at the bottom then we will create one keyframe at scale go over here somewhere around over here and let's make this 100 like this now select those keyframes and hit f5 select this by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here this handle over here and this handle over here like this okay so if you see we will get this kind of animation now let's do one thing select this shape layer and instead of a hundred we will move this a little bit over here like this so i'll get something like this now let's do one thing uh, i'm going to press ctrl i to import my logo file which is this one i'll select this import as footage composition written layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok like this now double click to open this select all of them and hit ctrl c to copy go over here hit u first of all and hit ctrl v to paste it then simply right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and scale it like this press p for position let's bring this over here and let's bring this over here like this okay and do one thing let's select this and hit null object now select all of them and let's move this over here like this and press v and we are going to move all of them somewhere around over here like this okay 
so if you see we will get this animation first and then this now i'm going to select this shape layer which is this one and hit u go over here then uh, let's go somewhere around even over here press r for rotation create one keyframe and hit u go somewhere around five seconds and let's make this uh, let's make this minus one so if you see uh, we will get something like this or uh, let's make this plus one now select those keyframes and hit f9 like this now in logitech uh, we need to count the alphabet so one two three four five six seven eight so we need eight rotations so i'm going to type eight over here like this but uh, we don't want this kind of animation so we will move this a little bit forward like this okay and then uh, we are going to create uh, let's do one thing select this first layer and by holding control i'm going to remove this uh, easy in ease out so i'll get something or uh, i think it should be good if there is easy in ease out like that now at this point i uh, somewhere around over here i am going to select this one and this uh, uh, rectangle it should be gone somewhere around over here so i'll hold alt close bracket so they are gone now so if you see we'll get something like this and then i after that i want the animation of this one so select all of them and press p right click and choose separate dimension for their respective positions like this then select all of them create one keyframe at position and one keyframe at y position then go somewhere around over here create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y go few frame forward again create one keyframe at y position and in middle of that i'm going to move them over here like this kind of bounciness then in search uh, in option i'll type y so i can see only y position keyframes select those y position keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go to the graph editor zoom in a little bit uh, we have this y position keyframe select this by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here select this move this handle over here uh, and select this and move this handle over here so you will get this kind of bounciness okay and then go over here and hit u like this now select all of them and make sure that you are at the start keyframe select all of them by holding shift go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and move them over here okay like this and in middle of that i'm going to change the y position over here then uh, uh we in search option again i'm going to type y position keyframe i'll select those keyframes and i'll go to the graph editor let's select this graph hold shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here okay so we'll get something like this okay so hit u and we don't need to change the exposition keyframes but we need to definitely add scaling animation so select all of them press s uh, initially make scale 0 create one keyframe go few frame forward let's make the scale 29 like this so if you see we will get something like this along with that i need rotation animation press r create one keyframe hit u go over the last and let's make this one now select all of those keyframes uh, let's select all of these keyframes <coughs> by holding alt i'm going to reduce the duration of it like this like this okay and i want them to be animated one by one so let's go to the start and press r for rotation so we can see rotation keyframes it's starting from here so 
let's select this layer and let's move this over here and this should animate from this point so let's move this over here let's select all of them and hide them because i want them to be appear one by one and uh, as you guys know that i have created eight rotations so for each rotation one alphabet should start to animate then at this point i want this layer should start to animate and i'm going to reveal then again move this forward at this point this one should start to animate so i'll move this over here at this point this one should start to animate then this one and this one at this point let's shoot this one like this okay so at this point uh, i'm going to add this two over here but not uh, at the same time but a little bit of gap between these two like this okay so, and let's select all of them and enable motion blur so now if i see i'll get this kind of animation like this okay so if i see this animation from the start i'll get this animation and then i'm going to select this layer let's say this one and hit u and let's create one keyframe at the scale go to the somewhere around over here and let's make the scale zero select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this okay and hit u and now right click new and create one null object except this uh, black solid layer and this uh, adjustment layer simply select all of this layer hitting ctrl a make it apparent with this null one now select this null one and press p and now uh, as you guys know that my rotation animation is starting from here so i'll press p create one keyframe over here go somewhere around over here and let's move this thing over here like this so this thing is properly at the center and select sorry select those keyframes and hit f9 okay so if we see we will get this animation first and then we will get this animation 